Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is Draco Rat, and we're starting from the kitchen and the shipping and receiving plant. Now, if you did like I did, you came into the kitchen and you avoided that left wall, which of course I probably should have mentioned, but avoid that left wall if you can, then you will not have triggered the conversation from these people, and that's a very good thing, and you're about to see why. If you come out this side of the room, they'll start talking, and this gives us a perfect opportunity to slip by, even though it looks like somebody is looking our direction by the little arrows on the mini-map. But he's, he can't see us because he's blocked by somebody else. So now we just walk past into these locker rooms. If you're trying to do a minimal takedown, absolute minimal, you want to keep going through this room. But in my case, I do want to loot a little bit, so I'm going to wait. So now this guy's going to come through the door. Now this is very important. Do not close the door behind him. You'll alert him. Instead, use the walk button. Walk up to him and do a silent takedown not a lethal one. Remember, just tap the key for non-lethal. If you hold the key down, it's lethal. Don't hold the key down. With him out of the way, we can close the door. Just like that. Quick save. Awesome. You don't even have to hide this body. Nobody else is going to show up. Can if you want, though. Nothing stopping you. Wonderful little place to hide it right over here. See? Nothing in here. Perfect spot. Stash some bodies. So, open up all these lockers, look for things we can pick up. I have a tendency to like to sideswipe lockers to open a bunch of them in a row. See that? Now, if you do it a little too aggressively, this game will actually close the locker again. So, you can't just go left and right and left and right sideswiping like crazy to try to open lockers. It doesn't quite work out. Ooh, a flame ra frame rate glitch right there. I don't know what that was all about. Alright. I'm getting stuck on stuff. Okay, and I don't see anything. I'm going to go ahead and stand up for a minute. Since the doors are closed, they can't really hear me walking around. So, that's part of my advice. Close the doors behind you when you can without alerting people. Got some grenade. So, let's talk about augs. What are we going to do for augmentations? Well, one thing we're going to do for augmentation is hacking. A lot of hacking. But we're also going to do the run faster, jump higher, and more inventory space. Try not to knock stuff over. Whoops. At least nobody heard me that time. Alright. And one last set. Do, 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 do. Okay, double check. All open, all open. All open, all open, all open. Alright, I know I got the ones on the other side, so we're good to go. And quick save right here. And let's move out. Jensen, I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug them? I'm on it. But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. All right. Out. Here's our first hacking. You can watch the tutorial, of course. This is something that I didn't quite realize until I was part of the way through the game the first time. When you're hacking, first of all, you don't want to fortify anything until you actually set the alarm off. Fortification is one of the highest percentages of setting the alarm off. We want to keep that as low as possible. Scroll your mouse wheel out or use the right trigger if you're using a controller. And you can see the whole board. Even when there's big boards, you can usually see the whole thing. What you do is you click on the highlighted nodes. See, these double lines mean that the nodes can be progressed in either direction. So I could go from this node to this node or this node to this node. But since this one's not highlighted, the reason, let me scroll this in a little bit, is because it has these dashed lines. Dash lines mean that a node is only connected one directional. So this node is connected to this node in this direction. And you can see that by how these arrows are pointing. So see this? This is our, our counter agent. They're, they're here to detect us hacking. When the shit goes bad, it starts here. So it's going to go from here to here, and we cannot go from here to there. 
this is important. Later on, there will be ones where we can capture these, and I'll go over those when they show up. But what we're going to do is we're going to hack this node right here. This node has no value to us unless we need to stave off this thing. Because, see, it can't progress this way, so we would have to go here to here to here. But since this node is directly connected to our endpoint anyway, it's not going to get to us faster than we could get there anyhow. It really has no value. So for this hack, since this is the easiest hack in the game, what we're going to do is we're just going to pick this node up, pick this node up, we're done. Click on it. These are the options. If I had a slow worm, I could activate it here, but it's better to just activate it from the keyboard. A nuke, you could use it here. Nukes, they have two uses. First of all, a nuke, when you get them, they allow you to take over a node with absolutely no chance of discovery. But if the system's already flashing, it's already chasing you, a nuke also takes over a node instantly. So if you have a really difficult node and you're trying to get ahead of the system finding you and you have like a level 5 or a level 6 node that you need to take over, you know, those usually take 10, 12 seconds. Nuke it. You'll take it over right away, go right past it. Okay? Fortification makes a node stronger. Now, fortification is useless if we have nothing in the fortification skill. D don't even worry about it. You need at least one in the fortification skill before fortification becomes a value. And then this is how we capture it. See, as I capture this, I have a 60% chance that the network's going to detect that I'm hacking it and get started with a trace. So it'll probably happen here. But after I capture it, oh, it didn't. We rolled our 40%. Then I'm going to go and capture the end one. Access granted. Our hack is done, and since that was for a door, we can get into the door now. Just looking around for any pickups. All right. Now this is one of the rooms where our first objective is. Come on, damn it! Attach. Thank you. On the very far side of the room are the hostages, and we have to rescue them if we want to do everything nice. You don't have to rescue them. The game will progress if you don't, but we want to be nice guys, alright? I'm going to jump over the end here. There you go. Now you see this box right here? We'll move it out of the way. And go through the duck park. When we're trying to be stealthy, the ducks are our friend. We will be doing a lot of going through the ducks. So, yeah. I must be seeing ghosts. I thought I saw something there. Oh, that's not the duct we needed anyway. This is the duct. Oh, yeah, it is. My bad. Keep going. I have played it twice, but then I've only played it twice. My memory can be a little bit rusty. Quick save while you're inside of this duct before you come out of it. You're going to see me do it at the end. And I'll explain. Actually, I'll explain right now. You have a hack that you need to do like right away when you come out. And you're on a time limit. So if you fail it, it's better to be right here. There we go. Quick save. Open it. And go hack. <laughs> Bunch of whiners. Alright, we start here. Let's take a look at what the network's going to do. It's going to come over to here, and then down to there, and then up to there. See all these dashed lines? It has to progress in this fashion. We need to get down here, which means we have to progress in this fashion. So, this node is kind of critical to both. And it is our... Let's hack it, hack it. Fortify since now we've been discovered. Hack the next one while we're fortified. And that's the part I didn't figure out right away. That you can be doing more than one node at the same time. There we go. And now we're through. Have a nice day. Richard, get word to Sarah. I found the hostages. I'm relaying good news, I hope. They're safe. And they're staying put. SWAT will have to expel them Quick as soon save. as I've got the prototype. I'll tell Sarah, but don't take too long. I'm going to bring up my menu. I forget which side of this room I have to exit from. Use this anytime that you can. It's very handy. Uh, 
hasn't even filled in though. Alright. Alarmed, but not hostile. They saw me there. Let me go around the other way. I think I actually need to go out the other side. There's some side rooms that have some goods in this area. Since I'm not really worried about killing people, I'm not really worried about the side rooms either. Excellent. Welcome back. Sorry for sorry for a sudden cut off on the last one. I I'll tell Sarah, but don't take too long. I screwed up. How's that? Happens a lot. Quick saves your friend. All right. See that guy right there? We need to not alert him. We can walk behind him. I need to watch the guy on the far side. And we'll walk around him here in a moment. Oh, that's good enough. Walk around. And put your back up against this. There we go. You can loop the top while you're doing this stuff. See like that. We need a... I'm on the wrong side of the room. We need to get to the other side. Yeah, you see me. Okay, passed. Excellent. And we're through. Ooh. I didn't mean to go around the corner there, as you can see by me going right back. Let me go ahead and quick save again. Okay. Now see that guy walking there and the camera. You can walk right underneath the camera just as long as you don't get in front. Like if I were to go out right now the camera would see me. But when it's facing the other direction of course I can walk past it. And the tutorial kind of gives you that information as well so study the tutor tutorial if you need to. But right now our goal is to move past all of this without any trouble. This guy will stop before he gets to where you can see me. See? And then when he turns around we're going to walk behind him. That's what we're here for. Turn around dude. Turn around. Excellent. Now walk. Don't move fast. Hammer moves out of the way or as he moves past. It's all good. There you go. And yep. Now we're going to take that way that he checked out. Once you're sure he's out of the way, you can let go of your walk key. On the PC, you probably have to hold the walk key down. On the Xbox, you just move the stick only very slightly rather than pushing the stick all the way to the edge. Make sure to double check your corners. See that camera there? We don't we don't want to alert that camera. Go back camera. Go back. Excellent. Right. Just coming in to get the dig up shit is one thing. Do, do, do. I forgot there's people in that room. And now we go past once the camera's gone past. Excellent. Okay. We have another security keypad we're going to have to hack here. Let's give it a go. come out this way and then it's gonna go both directions so let's just start there and there and there let's do some fortification these low level early doors are pretty forgiving see how much time we have on the clock there and we'll capture capture and take our final node and then we're good to go with our hack there we go and with that I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and I will see you in the next video.